on. Hi! Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream today. I am officially on a new ISP, which is exciting, I think. Well, I'm paying a lot less, so that's really wonderful. And I'm just, I'll keep an eye on my internet stability, I guess, for the stream today. Because, yeah, this is my first stream on my new ISP. It should be good connection-wise. My speed tests all came out fine, but we'll see if I drop any frames at all today. It's supposed to be better than what I had, so I really should not have any issues. But, you know, stability is another thing. Gaga, get out of here. Hi, everybody. Welcome. I also bought, so like, uh, live streams on my phone whenever I travel are definitely going to be more of a thing, by the way. They're going to be sporadic. I'll try to notify the Discord whenever I do go live, but I have to figure out live streaming on my, uh, on my phone. Yeah, we're looking good so far, though. Hi, everybody. So, yeah, IRL streams, I'm really looking forward to doing more of them. So with my plan, I have 150 gigs of unlimited... Well, I have unlimited data, but it's 150 gigs at, like, maximum speeds. So I can only stream for that much. Oh, I did see that, Dynasty. You got a physical copy of Unicorn Overlord. Dude, you are so lucky. I still am mad that I didn't get my physical copy of Unicorn Overlord. Still trying not to be salty about that, but... But yeah, um, so the other exciting thing that I bought is uh, yesterday I invested in a, a gimbal for your phone. So I bought that so that whenever we do stream from my phone, it's not like super wobbly, wibbly, wobbly. Uh, it's like a really lightweight handheld thing that keeps the camera really, really stable. So there's that. I just have to work on microphone things, but I think I can attach my, uh, my one road mic that I have to the thing. Maybe I can like attach it in a weird way so that the audio is also good. But yeah, I really want to have really good like IRL streams. Yuki, hi. You're caught up with help with spoilers. Nice. I appreciate you being here. I hope you're doing well, too. So yeah, I'm excited. There's a good chance I will be able to stream from PAX East, given that my data connection is good, but I feel like it should be. Crossing my fingers that it actually ends up being okay. But yeah. Hmm? <laughs> Dom said he's ready to be the pro vlogger and the... the person holding the stream so he is he's ready for it he's very excited yeah you're gonna get paxi streams if if i want my goal is to do at least one live stream of just like walking around you know that would be nice but if, if we do more than we do more i still have to figure out like how we're gonna do it i used to do live streams on my phone via streamlabs but I stopped using Streamlabs, so I'd rather not use them. But I don't know of any other way. I don't know of any other way because like OBS isn't on mobile. It's just Streamlabs, so we might have to suffer through Streamlabs. I'm not sure. Yep, I did see the dates for Otakathon are announced indeed. And don't worry, we will be watching Mashna abridged later. Not quite yet. That's right before we start gaming for the day. Don't you worry, it's happening though. <clears throat> I am having a good day. Yesterday was like insanely productive for me. Well, every day I do a lot, but I feel like today, yesterday after stream, like I really, I am at the point where on my checklist of things, I am down to like the last few things, which is, this is like the most I've accomplished ever. It feels so good. Gotta finish the last four minutes. Oh my God, Alan's working so hard. <laughs> Go ahead, Alan. Go ahead, Alan. We wish you the best of luck. Excited nonetheless. I like going to a talkathon. It's a it's a vibe every year. And I just love I love vibing with my friends every year. It's fun. 
I don't know what I want to do this year, though, because last year I brought my Grapes cosplay. I want to do a meme of some sort. I'm just not sure what meme I'm going to do. The chiptunes? This is in the game. This is in the gold saucer. I think I'm in the... Wonder Square? I think that's where I'm at. That means we're about to get a peak video. That's right, you're about to get a peak video. So You Laugh, You Lose comes out today. Uh, Alan's peak video will probably come out on Saturday. I think I only have one video releasing this weekend. Which is fine, considering last weekend I released three videos. I cannot believe that. Like, uh, we did the You Laugh, You Lose episode. I released my dance. I released my behind the scenes of the dance video. And Tion gave us our first FF7 video already. That was a lot. Four Final Fantasy VII videos in a single week. You had to mow the lawn today? Oh man, being like an, being like a real adult doing real things, that's disgusting, dude. You got it. You got this, Alan. It is a very busy time for the channel. While I'm gone at PAX East, I do have, um, you guys know that, like, uh, Akiyama love letter video I wanted to do a while ago? It is filmed, it is also edited. And I also like my thumbnail for it, so I have that one queued up to release while I'm away at PAX East. I'm hoping I can get another video edited in that time, but it depends because I have to finish making a cosplay for PAX East. Um, so yeah, cosplay gotta take priority, and then whatever time I have left, editing another video. I'm like, I've really gone crazy editing a lot of videos. And then I plan on, while I'm at PAX East, I'm editing a vlog. Um, a vlog video, a behind the scenes video of certain events, uh, unnamed, and then also I want to try like a really fun video Ooh. idea. They might end up as like different shorts. Good morning, Crystal. But Crystal I have another Crystal. idea that I want to come out of packs. We'll see. But so far, that's three videos that might come out of my week in Boston, and then I gotta edit all of that. It's a lot. I'm kind of... <sighs> I'm working real hard lately. Tion, you're almost done with the next one? What a fucking gamer, Jesus. Pax East is next week, so I am leaving next Tuesday to go down to Boston. Uh, and then I am leaving the following Tuesday. So one full week. Tuesday, Tuesday driving, Tuesday coming back. Yes, Yoshi P is at PAX East this year. And I'm real excited. I will be at both panels, officially. So I will be at the Final Fantasy 16 DLC panel. And I'll also be at the FF14 panel. So I will be front row, both of those panels, which is awesome. I'm so excited about that. And also doing another thing. I'm very excited. <clears throat> You can never do it. It's a, it's a lot, man. I still don't like editing, but there's a lot of videos that I feel like I can just do myself. And I'm still trying to get that dance tutorial video out as soon as possible. I'll get there. <laughs> Maybe I can finish writing the script while I'm away at PAX East. Like, some nights just, like, chip away at the script. It's about, like, I would say 70% done. But I want to make sure it's fully completed. Yes, you do need to go to a convention. God, going to a convention is so, like, I want to say life-changing. I feel like once you go to your first one, you never go back. Boston traffic is really bad. Ah, that's any city. I'm ready for it. I don't think there's any city out there that doesn't have traffic. But, yeah, it's not going to rain on my parade. Because it's different whenever, like, I don't mind sitting in traffic if I get to explore a city. Like, I could just be sitting on the road, but at the same time, I get to see the scenery and get to know Boston a little bit. 
Next fan fest? Hell yeah, you better go to next fan fest. You better. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Yeah, what Alan said. It can be really gratifying. I I don't put in, like what I used to do whenever I started editing for my YouTube channel at the very beginning, like with my P5R videos and I really went hard with all of that. My goal back then, every time I would put out a video, the next, like every video I put it out, I tried to learn a new thing, even if it was something super small or I tried to do something like, Something that I felt like could improve it. And once you do like enough like little increments of improvements with every video, it, you know, you have a higher payoff when you try to always improve. But I'm at the point where it's like, I hate editing so much that I don't, I don't try to make them better, which is bad. I know it's bad. I just hate editing that much. Except for my dancing videos. Those are the only ones I actually like doing. Editing is pretty epic. I'm glad you guys like it. <laughs> You're going to Momocon this year? Where is Momocon? I've heard of that one. I don't remember what city it's in though. You went, yeah, you went to a con in Denver years ago, then COVID ruined everything for everyone. Well, back then it did, yeah, but cons are in full swing now. Yeah. It's nice that cons are back again. Mm. Oh right, Momocon's in Atlanta, isn't it? That's like the really big one in Atlanta. That's why I've heard of it. Yeah, that's the thing. Like whenever I edit, I just try to do things as fast as possible because like editing is not my priority. <laughs> Like, I want to make cosplays and I want to do my dance videos. I want to do, like, everything else. I don't want to be doing my editing for the videos, but sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta. Yeah, all the dancing videos is my editing work. A lot of people think that it's the camera work, but no, it's my editing. Whenever I do my dancing videos, some of the shots are the, like, Eric manning the camera, but it's, like... 2% of the shots. Everything is done in post for my dancing videos. So like, I always film my dance by having like a tripod in the center, a tripod on the left, and a tripod on the right. And they're just still. The, the, the camera just sits there on a, on a tripod and then uh, I go into the editing and I do all of that in post to like match the, the camera. It's a lot. But I actually... That part is gratifying. So like, I, I only like editing my dance videos and that's about it. What was my favorite dancing video to do? Oh. It's between two. Like my latest FF7 one was really, really, really fun. But my Chie one was also extremely fun. Because Enochi was my partner as Yukiko in that video, and Enochi came all the way from Poland. So that felt like a really special moment. Like, there was... We were a group of seven friends just hanging out that day, and they all came to watch us film the dance together. And everyone was so supportive. And then, you guys know the, the Chie shot that I released? Like, the the side-by-side -side picture of me doing her, like, one-handed handstand bullshit thing. And, like, the behind-the-scenes of that I showed on Twitter as well. Just, like, all of my friends, just, like, you know, a leg person holding each leg, a person flipping my jacket, like... It was just really cute and wholesome, and it's a moment that I'll never forget. So that Chie dancing video felt really special because, like, I had so many friends just there and supporting me. But not only that, but, like, everyone was just having fun. We all just had fun together. Um, and so... It was, it just really, really felt like a magical moment. It was really fun, yeah. Um, and then afterward, we still had our day, and it was just, it was just quite an amazing day. <clears throat> Where did we leave off in the last FF7 stream? Uh, we got to the Gold Saucer, 
and we are now finishing our date with Tifa today. So Tifa was our date that we ended up getting, and we're going to finish up that date and probably get kicked out of the Gold Saucer today. That's where we're at. I did, yeah. So, like, sometimes when I film my dancing videos, like, I've been filming the majority of them. I'd say, like, 90% of my dancing videos are done alone, like, with me and Eric. So it's just the two of us. Uh, sometimes Dom will come and help uh, film some things. And then the, the moments that are really special, though, are the ones that my friends actually also come and help me, like, get behind-the-scenes footage, help me, like, run music, run other things. And those are, like, the, the, me the memories that I hold most dear. It's just so cute that, that my friends just want to help me make these stupid videos and just hang out and stuff. It's really cute. Makes you want to learn new skills? Aww. Yeah, you can always learn new skills. There's never a time in your life where you can't learn new skills. You just keep going. You can just keep learning. The whole world is yours. <clears throat> my Yunarakami mm -hmm. one with my niece? Yes. That one was a very special day as well. Aww, thank you, Faithka, for the 14-month resub. I really appreciate it. Yeah, that filming that dance video with my niece, uh, Mimi, that was that was absolutely adorable too. Those are my top three, I would say. The Nanako one, the Chie one, and then the latest FF7 one. Any time where I'm not filming alone, basically. Because <laughs> filming alone, uh, well, it feels lonely. And then it's also extremely hard to not have help. So it's been a little bit stressful some days where I'm filming and I just wish I had somebody there helping me. <clears throat> but thank you so much, Faith. I don't, did I just say thank you? Thank you for the 14 months. I might have just said that and I have short term memory loss. Thank you. We're going to have a good time in Rebirth today. Well, as good as we can, because we should be getting kicked out today, which is not so fun, but it's okay. We're going to get really sad Barrett backstory, probably. Uh, dying shit. It's going to be emotional today, probably. Depending on how they do this backstory. My friends can't even hold lunch plans that we made two weeks in advance. Yeah, I was actually really nervous that like people wouldn't show up uh, for my FF7 filming. But they did. Everyone showed up. And I was so shocked because, yeah, normally things fall through like plans always fall through like you'll plan an event and then like half the people end up showing up that signed up to show up it, it happens a lot it's i mean that's a super common thing any it's it's really hard especially as you get older you know people are busy so it just it only gets worse and harder as you get older but yeah i was really surprised that everyone just showed up but recently i actually ended up making um like a discord server just for me and my group of friends so that every time I film a dancing video, I post it in there and then I see who is available to come in there uh, to come help me for the dancing video. Uh, so that recent change, I think, is everything I needed. I only made that like a few months ago. So I really should have done that a lot earlier, but hey, better late than never. So the fact that I have that now is really, really helpful. Is the background music from the Jack Frost Bros game? No, it's it's from F, it's from Rebirth. I'm in the Gold Saucer right now. I think this is the the Wonder Square that I'm in right now. But I really love doing this. Like, whenever the the more people I involve in my dancing videos, it kind of gives me the experience of like producing and directing. So you guys got to see, for those of you that saw like the behind the scenes of the FF7 dance, it was like you guys got to see me like directing an action. And that's the kind of skill that I want to improve upon. Because yeah, there's a lot of things that I could have done better about that whole process. I didn't do a bad job, I think, but 
I definitely, like, in even watching and making that video and seeing all the footage, I was like, oh, I could have been a better director here. And, I, like, I was able to look at what I was doing in post and then see what I can improve upon, which was a really cool thing. Uh, so, yeah, I really, I really like directing and producing bigger things. It was, it's very satisfying. My only friends are back in Texas, so we have to plan months in advance for us to be able to hang out. Aww. I appreciate these online spaces where I can make new friends and hang out. Aww, Emma, we love you. Y'all are so cute. I, I do absolutely love the amount of, uh, I don't know, just support you guys have in this community. It's just so cute. I really, uh, everything, every one of you here, you're adorable and it means a lot. I feel like our community has just gotten cuter too over these years. It's changed a lot for sure, but y'all still cute as fuck. All right. I think it's time that we watch a Mashna abridged episode. This one is a whopping 11 minutes long. And then we can play the video game. This chat is full of cuties. It is. And I'm trying to be more active in the Discord. I'm really bad at that, but not gonna lie. Some, sometimes I'm scared of my own Discord. But, uh, I- I'm trying to get over that. I- I enjoy just, like, chatting sometimes. I don't do it enough. Alright. Let me see. Did I not- I made the chat box a little bit smaller. Because I felt like it was too big. Even now I think it might be too big still. Me just shrinking you guys down ever so slightly. There you go. We'll we'll shrink it in. Oh, wait. It doesn't know. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so we want this screen. But once again, I must implore you. All right, here we go. Honey, I shrunk the chat just like a tiny, tiny little bit. Because in in looking at my vods and editing more and more, I'm like, ooh, I think I think the chat should be a little smaller. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Episode seven. Uh, okay, sir, but once again, I must implore you that dropping an entire section of the city on top of another section of the city to kill, from what I'm being told, five people, okay, is not only financially irresponsible, but RPR will take a noticeable hit. Well, you see, Reeve, we live in a world of absolutes. Yes, we do! As in, this is an absolutely terrible plan! Okay, okay, I'll use a metaphor. It's like you're trying to make an omelette by dropping an entire section of the city on top of another section of the city! I'll be honest, this sounds like something Heidegger yelled out in a meeting and no one challenged him on. No, oh, why would they challenge such a practical plan, Reeve? Because it's practically insane! President Shinra, not only are we killing hundreds, nay, thousands of innocent lives, we're also destroying some of our most profitable areas. The distillery district, the water park, that falafel stand that we all really love. Not the falafel stand. As the head of urban developments, this is the most counterproductive situation imaginable. Oh, I'm sorry, Reeve. We were just being men of action while you were making that bonsai tree in your office, your wife. I'll make you my <laughs> wife, you son of a- Hi, Digger. Reeve does have a point. Oh, thank you, sir. Our PR will take a noticeable hit. And if our consumers take issue with our actions, they are more than welcome to sign up with one of the other energy companies. Oh, wait. We crushed them under our chocobo skin shoes. And much like them, this avalanche group will feel the full force of Shinra. 
I am willing to utterly and completely destroy our enemies, no matter how many omelets need to be made. Do I make myself clear, Reeve? Yes, sir. Besides, who could possibly stop us? <laughs> what the f is that? Oh my god! <laughs> this is ISPs in a nutshell. Oh, too soon, too soon, man. I just switched. I'm a much happier person now on with Spell, though. <laughs> so, uh, oh, can we the noises. talk about what just happened? I named it. Yeah, we told you not to do that while we were killing it. Now I didn't... named it. Its name was Sebastian. Oh my god, who the hell cares? You think you could lighten up for a bit, Tifa? Oh, lighten up? Oh, I'm sorry if I'm a little bit tense right now. It's just that after hearing about how Shinra is planning on dropping a section of the city on top of another section of the city, the one I live in, and then fighting a giant sewer monster named Sebastian, I have a bit of a short fuse! How short is it? <laughs> now why don't you two do me a solid? Stop flirting for a minute and come with me to stop Shinra from destroying our livelihoods! Well, to be fair, you're the only one that works at the bar. No! It was that <laughs> short. All right, guys. We need Fine Bear and the rest of Avalanche to warn them about Shinra's plan. I think they already know. The Baron Glass Buffet is open for business! It looks like they're fighting Shinra, but they've got things under control. Yeah! Oh! Your friend's got one! Wedge, are you okay? No! <laughs> I got a plan. What is it? <laughs> Let's go kick some ass. Soldier style. <laughs> right. Eric, go to the bar around the corner. There's gonna be a little girl named Marlene there. Tell her big sis Tifa and the blonde jackass sent you there, then take her somewhere safe. Also, she has a gun. Oh, I'll take her to the safest place I know. My mom's house. Yes, uh... perfect. <laughs> Clout, I need you to do something for me. What is it, man? We're dying, Cloud. <coughs> I need you to tell Jesse that I've always thought her voice was hot. Oh, really? Because you guys have always said... it sounds like she's blowing me, you know? Oh, dude, come on. Tell her! Did Bitch really say that? Yeah. You're not upset, are you? No. Nah. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny that he thinks his dick is that big. <laughs> oh, 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 she's dead. Great. Oh, I'm gonna miss those guys. Tifa, where the hell have you been? Trying to get the information about Shinra's plan. Well, how in the hell did they find out about us? Was it the pinball machine? It was the pinball machine. God damn it! By the way, the I'm here too, because I survived that fall and- Perfect! Now make yourself useful and act like you're something worth shooting at! Good to know I'm surrounded by people who love me! Hey, bud! Guess who? Oh, no. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just following orders. So you're gonna introduce us to your boyfriend, Cloud? <laughs> he wishes he was my boyfriend. <laughs> I'd pay good money to see you in a dress. Kill him before he talks more! <laughs> Oh, how the tides have changed. Uh, now you get to meet my friends. And let me tell you, they always listen. We can't hear you. What? I can't hear you. We cannot hear you. I can't hear you. You are unaudible <laughs> at the moment. Oh, God. Barrett, get him out of that. I'll take out Prince Dyes' hair. <laughs> Please, babe. Uh, the curtains uh, match the carpet. Oh, you dye your dick, too. Uh, no. I actually shave sugar tips. Ah, that makes one of us. Oh, what's the matter? Afraid of hurting your vagina? Nah. Hurt yours! You destroyed half of my enormous dick. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, Cloud. I am now going to shoot 
the magic pyramid away from you on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, check it out. It worked. No, it didn't, you son of a bitch. Hey, don't you ever refer to my primary birth giver like that. And that's <laughs> my cue to leave. Ow, 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 bad day to wear tight pants. Hey, thanks for shooting me, by the way. Oh, no problem. And if you ever need a second dose, just keep being a smart ass. Now I gotta get my baby girl out of here before it's too late. Don't worry, Cloud's friend took care of that. You mean this friend? Aaron! No, that girl sells flowers. Greetings, Avalanche. <laughs> I am Tseng, leader of the Turks. <laughs> I have acquired your friend. Aaron! Where's Marlene? At my mom's house. Oh, thank God. Well, how did they capture you? They said they had a helicopter. She's been a person of interest to us for quite some time. We were merely observing her. However, involving herself with known terrorists means she must now be brought in for experimentation. I feel like Orders Ellen Rickman imitation for saying don't is you so dare great. Lay a finger on her! I don't take orders from you. Oh, I'm gonna fing slap your shit, you slick haired Shinra cocksucker! Charmed. <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, you have a minute before you die? Have a nice day. Don't worry, guys. I can fix this. Oh, no, Cloud. We've been down that road before, and it is a dead end. So if you don't mind, I'm going to swing. Tifa, get up. Don't got to tell me twice. Hey, make room. My arm is not a seat, Cloud. Just go. <laughs> There goes the omelet. Breakfast is served. <laughs> 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 how? How could it all go so wrong? <laughs> Not it's the breakfast. Which? Jesse. All dead because of me. Why did it get so out of control? Probably when you started blowing up their facilities. Yeah. That probably did it. <laughs> Is there anything good left in this world? Barrett. When I went undercover to get info out of Don Corneo, Cloud showed up dressed as a woman. He thought I'd been kidnapped. Then we had to line up to be selected for the lover position. The Dawn chose Cloud. Cloud's fake name was Thunderhead. <laughs> You're the salt of the earth, Tifa. <laughs> I feel like we should just watch another episode so, so that we can, like, kind of catch up in the plot. Like, from the Abridged series to match where we are in the game. So let's watch another one if you guys don't mind. Telling me that my baby girl Marlene is in this quaint little cottage? And that this cottage exists in the ghetto? In the yes, ghetto? Yes, this is Aerith's house. Uh, but as I was saying, we have a fucking waterfall. We need to go in there, sit Aerith's mom down, and tell her the bad news. Aerith's blonde friend, I have bad news. My daughter's been kidnapped. Oh, <laughs> no way! How did that happen? Well, they offered her a free helicopter ride, and how can anyone say no to that? Believe it or not, very easily. <laughs> oh, you must be the father of Marlene, <laughs> that beautiful angel Aerith brought over. Oh, why, thank you for assuming that automatically. That is a refreshing change of pace. Yeah. Well, I can sense these things. Also, she has a gun, and your hand is a gun, so two and two together. <laughs> Fair assessment. So where's my baby <laughs> girl she puts it Oh, together. she's upstairs in Aerith's room playing bar with the cats. It stands that far, Pat, Mr. Whiskers. And I must say, it's so nice to meet another person who adopted a child. Uh, hold on. What? Oh yes, Aerith is actually the last of an ancient race called Cetra, who are destined to lead a chosen few to the Promised Land. But anyways, why do you think Shinra would want to kidnap her? So are you going to be renting her room at all? 
<laughs> You're doing a run in OG FF7, so I'm pretty caught up. Hell yeah. OG FF7 is still great. You see, I found Aerith 15 years ago. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Found? Oh, yes. You see, one day, I went to the train station to sell my herbal inhalants. They curb anxiety. Uh -huh. And then... <laughs> I can't believe my mom is dead! <laughs> I'll be your mom. Okay! Wait, 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 wait. I can't help but think you may have skimmed some parts. Oh, yes. Aerith's birth mother did say something, actually. Please take care of my daughter, because you are awesome and sell the dankest of inhalants. Think harder. Shinra is after my daughter and I. We are the last of the Cetras, destined to bring a chosen few to the promised land. But you see, I... <laughs> to try that sweet kush! Uh, okay, okay, close enough. <laughs> you know that's not how adoption works, right? I'm sorry. My mind is a bit foggy from the herbal inhalants I just inhaled. I haven't had anxiety for over 20 years. <laughs> you do seem relaxed considering your daughter's been kidnapped. <laughs> my daughter's been kidnapped? Marlene! Oh my god! <laughs> now, Marlene, sweetie. Daddy needs to go and avenge his fallen comrades while rescuing the nice lady who rescued you. So stay here and be nice to Mrs. Air's fake mom. However, if she has you selling anything, remember to take a 15% kickback. What am I, a charity? 25% exactly, baby girl. You passed the test. I love you. Oh hey, God. everything ready to go, man? <laughs> well, on one hand, I'm sad to leave my baby girl here for an unforeseeable amount of time. But on the other hand, you have a gun. On the other hand, this seems like a very safe environment for a child. Hey, guys, I was just eating this plate of cookies and all of a sudden this unicorn walked in. <laughs> oh, no, the unicorn turned into space. Uh, should we? Bigger to bounce, bigger to yes. Bigger to bounce. Oh, 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 thank God that's over. Oh, feeling better, your majesty. Now that I'm on solid ground, Yes. Quick question, guys. After you come down from being redonkulously high, does your mouth normally taste like paint? <laughs> guys, this wall is made of dicks! Oh, oh yeah, I get it. Uh -huh. that's, that's right, yeah. Oh, really? Sweet. So, what's the plan? Because I was all... <laughs> well, we're down to two of <laughs> I want to storm through the front door, guns a blazing. Killer. And I, as a former soldier... We, we know. know. First that class. Guy. All we have to do is climb a few flights of stairs, and we're in. Hmm. I might still be a little high, but I like Cloud's plan. Oh. I see how it is. Okay, lead the way. All right, follow me. This isn't so bad, guys. <laughs> Takes me back to when I was in Soldier. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, this is a, this is a killer workout, guys. This is, oh, I am feeling it. What's after this? Oh, More stairs? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I cracked oh, myself up. Cloud. Oh. Oh, <laughs> 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 my lungs are on fire. I can't. Oh God. <laughs> Guys. What? The door's locked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this started. Oh, hello there. Are you here for the Shinra bi-monthly meeting? I take it you're with the urban development team. Uh. Yeah? Perfect. The meeting is on the 66th floor, and here are your elevator passes. Wow, thank you very much. <laughs> I cannot believe we just got away with that. Seriously, they thought you were with Urban Development. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I have no idea why they would think I was in Urban Development. <laughs> oh, that racist cunt! <laughs> <laughs> what are they laughing about? And so, to Reeve, I retorted, but has the stock fallen as fast as the Sector 7 plate did upon our enemies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mother <sighs> You know, it's not funny to laugh at the loss of life like that. Oh, Reeve, you just had to be there for it. I was! 
I was looking out my office window as we killed thousands of innocent people. I... I cried. <laughs> I'ma kill him. Let's do it. Guys, can you keep your murder boners in your pants, please? You can't tell my murder boner what to do, Cloud. We are a wreck with rage. We still need to find out where Aerith is, okay? So then, on to the meeting at hand. All of you, collectively, in this first quarter of the year, have gone 700% over budget. Now, I would like to go over some things our money has been spent on, starting with Heidegger, our security exec. Dozens of assault charges levied against you. We've had to pay off judges, police, the assaultees. And the witnesses! Don't forget those witnesses! Oh, how could I? Because when they don't accept our bribes, you assault them, thus continuing what I like to call the assault spiral. Oh, I am so naming an attack after that. <laughs> you would. Now on to Scarlet, our weapons development executive. Baroness of weapons development. My apologies, the Baroness of weapons development. You built a giant cannon. Why, yes, I did. I heard it's very, very powerful, top-of-the-line technology. I will only accept the best. Yes, but the big problem is it is pointing in one what direction, direction. And it does, does no. not Move. turn, thus making it useless. <laughs> Funny, I could say the same about you several weeks ago. That's right. I had sex with Reeve. Did he cry during that too? Global. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I can't believe she would use him like that and belittle him for it. A bitch. <laughs> really? <laughs> you seem to be laughing a lot, Palmer. As the quote executive chief director of space acquisition and all the cool space stuff end quote, could you explain to me how you spent ten? Billion gil to buy, and I quote again, 10 spaces? Oh, well, that's easy. First, you take both your hands and you make a telescope out of them. And then, what you see in the night sky there, that's one space. And then, you take 1 billion gil, which is how much one space costs, by the way, and then you toss it into a fire. And the smoke delivers the payment to space. And that's how you buy space. Reeve, I would like the space program budget to go through you from now on. Thank you, sir. Ah, but I want to go to space! I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want! Fine, Cousin Palmer. You will go to space eventually. Ah, yay, space! I just, ever since I was a child, I wanted to go to space. These are the people who have been beating us. To be fair, we did have that pinball machine. But they did have that dumb secretary. How about I shoot her so it's even? <sighs> I would have preferred to end this meeting by finally going over the science division spending issues, but once again, the exec isn't here. So, with that said... If you're taking umbrage with how I'm running my division... <laughs> you can say it to my face, The last Reeve. Oh, Joe, it's so refreshing to see you out of your lab for once. Well, I've been preparing our latest subject for experimentation. Huh? 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 <laughs> She's quite innocent and naive. That's not an emblem thing. When I told her we would be experimenting on her, she responded, but I thought that only happened in those colleges. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely Aerith. Oh, yeah. The reason I'm here God, is not to you sate your, your curiosity, it, Reeve. Rather, Enjoy to inform your President Shinra that everything is going according to plan. I am most pleased, Hojo. How long until the information about the Promised Land is extracted from the subject? Oh my god, Aerith's fake hot mom was right! Well, that all depends on how long I have to stand here and defend my methods to a group of Neanderthals, sir. Very well. Much like a present given to my special boy, this meeting is wrapped. So when they say extracted from the subject... We have to follow, Hojo. We're heading, but we gotta be real sneaky-like. By the way, Hojo, 
Are you certain that this Cetro will not escape like the last one? <laughs> not to worry, sir. The 60th floor's back door has been sealed for years. <laughs> Normally I t Motherfucker! Like, comment, and subscribe. Ah, uh, yes. Alrighty. There we go. Now we can actually play Rebirth. Let's go. Let's finish our date with Tifa, shall we? How do I get out of here? Other way. Probably my favorite parody series. It's my favorite too. It's hey way Welcome too to good. Hey there. Illegally you good. Points to trade me? I do have points to trade you. I want that card. And I want this. I can get everything, apparently. A turbo ether. I'll get that, sure. And I'll get this, and I'll get that, and, and that. And that, and that, and that. Thank you. Make sure to come back once you've racked up more points. Give your tank a critical Where would you like to go, Kubo? Snowboarding. I can't wait for that mini game. Isn't there, um. I thought like all the squares had their prizes. I should go check. I don't think we'll get to the Chocobo races today. That's a bit. That's a bit far. We might though. Every place does have its own stuff. God damn it! Why did I buy the Turbo Ether? I shouldn't have bought it. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I'm not gonna have enough points to buy everything I want. Where would you like to go, Kubo? <clears throat> Helsing Ultimate Parody? I never watched Helsing. I tried and I didn't like it. And then I shocked the whole world. Let's make Welcome, cadets. Welcome, to Space Ranger our mission today is a final one. I love and this we will place so much. Support to defeat the enemy. The Gilgamesh army is amassing a massive greetings recruit here to exchange points. I'm not going to have enough. I already ran out. Oh. Wait, there's a level boost material? Damn it. I bought the turbo Bring ether and I shouldn't have bought the Ranger. turbo ether. My life is over. When you get an order, you're supposed to say, Roger that. We all gotta fight. Your trusty guide Moogle is at your service. I should have like stayed on this music, honestly. Okay, Skywheel Square, let's go. We can go here and I think that's the quickest way up there. How far are you into the game? Um well, we're gonna be kicked out here in a second. I don't. Uh, have you played the original? I feel like. Wait, if I feel like if you're asking that question, then you haven't played the original. Ah! I don't know, because I don't know where this game is ending either. I don't even know if I'm halfway through, but I really don't think so, because there's so much story left to do. <laughs> All right, Skywheels, here we go. Now we can end our date with Tifa. You ready? It's gonna be a nice date. Chapter. Oh, that. What? Oh, yeah. I guess we could just say what chapter. I think I'm on chapter seven. I forgot that they do the chapter thing. <clears throat> <laughs> what happened?
Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. I wish I was with Escape friends. the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. <laughs> Looks fun, huh? <laughs> Hand holding? What's going on? I I don't know. Your attention, please. We are We're hand holding. Oh my some god. Minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks. Our friendly cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding and have a wonderful day. No longer Cloud, hand holding. We've got trouble. Is that a cat? What is it? Get to the Coliseum on the double. Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around the saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. I'll round up your pals for you, all right? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose. I love the Kate's animation so much. Let's go find out. God, I cannot believe this is real. All squares are closed. Please proceed. If you're in a hurry. Please use a gun. They're needed at the Coliseum right away. I'm going, I'm going. Have yourself a magical day. Good, I got my party back. Currently can't change the party. Oh. I'm sorry, sir, but only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Ring, ring! No, uh, excuse me. Please go clear it. What the bird? Copy that, sir. <laughs> Apologies for the delay. Please. Kate Sith, what a homie. Wait, I can talk to you. God, what kind of monster? That shit's gonna haunt me. Found a place to transport the bodies? Evacuate the guests first. I need you to step back, please. This is a crime scene. Oh. Uh, huh? Report Give me a sit rep on the other squares. Statements. But, but, but my prizes are behind this counter. Give me a sit rep on the other squares. Report back to the director once you've taken witness statements. How am I? How do I? Oh. Y'all didn't see that. Musclehead Coliseum. Oh my god, not the sign. It's like I told you, someone went in a rampage, and now- I'll take it from here. Dude, Dio. <laughs> I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. What? Uh... <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. We have a thing Seriously? to do. A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier when their security detail was gunned down. Dio is uh, something, all right. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. God damn. That's terrible. 
The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Oh, dear, Nigh no. as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen. With an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... A gun for an arm. No, oh, Dio. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Dio, Listen, no! this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have Dude, Dio is so hours, extra, just with how he which, moves. Oh my you will God. all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. Why does he move like this? Bro? Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. Oh. Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. He's so cute! This way, folks. Oh my god, I'm Why more than happy to follow Kate Seth. God, he's so precious. I love his little animations, they're so cute. Kate Seth, you're going too fast that I can't see you. Oh, he's whittled jump. I love him so much. The place we're headed is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the gold saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top, where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians, and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. <laughs> ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Mugging, maiming, murdering. It's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. They had so much fun with this animation. Holy shit. This is our stop. Oh my god. I'm gonna want Kate Sith in my party. Just so I can play as him and uh, just get his animations.
They did so good with him. I can't believe how good they did Gates. Ah! He's so good. I am, uh, yeah, I'm just genuinely surprised. I didn't expect Mr. Kate Sith to be this fun. And so well done. He got some thick thighs, he do. He do. Yeah, yeah, Kate Sith is a main party member. I don't remember when exactly he joins your party. It could be here officially. I think it might be. Hmm? Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. But yeah, he'll be in here soon enough. Look at Seed! Look at him go! Look at him go! I'll be honest. In all of my playthroughs of the original FF7, I never Shit. had Kate Sith in my heart. Not a single time. He was so frustrating. I, I very much disliked his moveset. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to Corel Prison, bitch. <laughs> I feel very welcome. Maybe Elliot got reincarnated as Kate Rise Sith, maybe. <laughs> Top of the morning to ya! Whoa now, wouldn't try that if I was you. <laughs> All right, follow me. Up, up. <laughs> Off we go! You just wait right there. Why did they knock me out, but not take the weapon? Hey, boss! Your guests are here! Oh my god. Hell yeah! Allow me to welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Uh, Merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> but which one of you is it? Is it you? You? Maybe you? Or is it the pooch? I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? <laughs> I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, why do you think? Mr. Mercenary? Everybody knows me. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donny C? Yeah. Let Think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, man. hi there, ho there. No need to Donnie explain. C is what Intel's we call my him. bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Oh, this is Which so is fun. Which is ever so certain that you'll be useful. They did not have want. to do so this. son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? This I got him under man. lock and key. Out in the middle of the dunes. Now, I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. So but only if I get a little something from you first, understand? That little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. Uh, I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. Though. So much so goddamn guilt. that jacket so yeah gil that's what i want <laughs> so yeah by the way just gil so, so we got you, that straight but i got an idea on how you can scrape some together <laughs> i'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races and you are gonna win <laughs> on that note till you bring home the bacon i'ma hold on to your right, pigs help us out oh. hey chill out kiddo we'll take excellent care of them unless you fail to deliver in which case well let's just say there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds on Quad. Can put a price on anything. Kids, it is so cute. Uh -huh. That's Gus to you. Ooh. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. 
Don't let me down, huh? I'm gonna be the top tier chocobo racer. Just yeah. watch. Later. Oh my god, they had so much fun with right, this. Mr. Merc, this let's was go not your bird. like this originally. <laughs> Better stick close, you I'm not mad at this. <laughs> hey, Creepazoids! What are you planning on doing with us? Suppose I could always ninja myself out of here. Keeps them as pets. They're trained to lead people lost in the desert. I just hope it's safe out there. If you spot one of them out in the okay. sands, best follow. Oh, interesting. How are you guys doing? Wait, you have loot in your cage? Or no, it's a outside of the cage. Yeah, you're not alone this time, Red. Oh, poor Red. We can handle ourselves. Good luck. We're rooting for you. Oh, Kate Sid, look at him well, run. This is a fine state of affairs. You will get us out of here, won't you, Cloud? I love him. Hey, Creepazoid! What are you planning on doing with us? Suppose I could I always ninja myself out of here. Good as he does his yeah, you, you definitely could. No need to worry about us. Sorry, I'm like looking at Kate Sith Good running luck. back and forth like an idiot. He's so cute, though. Locked I never thought. Oh Kate Sith is so but cute. Sorry. I'm not alone this time. That's right. You just follow me. Or run Wait, I want to look around though. Oh, damn. Okay. Chadley, I swear to fucking god, bro. See how far you get. Yeah, you got him! Go! Holy! Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't like Gus, I do remember, but, um,. Yes, did not have this this much character. They definitely added a lot more here. I am mad about it. I like changes like that, where you give more character to things that didn't have character before, or would just like kind of throw away sections of the game. Not that this is a throwaway section of the game, but like in terms of like this was just uh yeah no, this this prison is just full of gangsters that fuck with you and that was just it, they're just bitches. And I love this music too, like, they gave the- <laughs> This is a banger! What the fuck? Prime mode! Strength and Punisher mode. I love that. Hold down to attack to deliver three consecutive strikes. Increases Berserk potency. Cool. So groovy! Can I go shopping? No one wants a run of the mill chocobo. I don't want to like cap some things at 99, so I, I just check sometimes. I'm like, oh, you hit 99. Let me let me sell some of these. Go on and make them as flashy as Gus. Yo, Roger, new champ. 
Hmm. He's all yours. So you're Cloud the Merc. Can't I say love I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrimp. Hi, Mister Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Of course, I'm pretty. Wait, Cloud? Billy? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? In a fryer. <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Oh. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. Don't you dare go disappointing my man, Gus. I love this sword, because purple's my favorite color. Billy, what am I supposed to do? No one will notice my sneak I'm supposed to get right? feed? Yeah, I'd say you're looking pretty good. Okay. Better when the Having trouble finding that feed for Pico? Let me think. Could ask the bartender? He has this garden he fusses over. Or used to, anyway. All right, bartender. Good luck out there, cutie pie. Cutie pie. Only Kate Sith is allowed to call me a cutie pie. Why is she? Oh, hail Solemn Gus! King of Corral Prison! Show respect or get wrecked! Welcome to Bell Jumper! What the, the fuck? Boys and girls go to drink themselves blind. Kick it! One, two, one, two, three, four! So that's the notice board. Hello. Welcome to Bale Jumper, watering hole for the dregs of the Dust Bowl. Heard you're in the market for some greens. Maybe. If so, I've got a garden up on the cliff. Everything's yours for the taking. Assuming there's anything to take, I've intended to in ages. Here, go see for yourself. Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. Place is crawling with them. Um. Dude, what? Is, that's like mystery drink that we just had. You seem like a guy who can hold his liquor. You don't even that's know what's in that drink. Specialty. Call it sunshine. We take moonshine and water it down so the flavor's just still perceptible. Why did I just drink? There's so much detail everywhere. Like, look at this. Insert, insert pseudo intellectual message here. The walls just full of stuff. How did they do this? And none of it is repeated. Oh god, Queen's blood. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I can't get distracted. We can't get distracted. Hey there, buddy. Got any guild to spare? I promise I'll pay you back. <laughs> he looks promising. Okay. Let's go somewhere more quiet. <laughs> uh... Oh, come on. I don't bite. <laughs> yeah. 
you sorry, have the marker. but you're stuck with me now. Oh, am oh I these are the guys that follow up? you around. Damn it. He got away. <laughs> Damn it, he got away. I I'm right here. I didn't go anywhere. These dumbasses. Yeah, there's a there is guys that follow you around in the original. I think I think wow. those are our culprits, but they suck at their job. All you gotta do is tough it out for three more days. Or was it four? Let's see if they actually start following me now. <laughs> Look who's come waltzing back. Yeah. You got it. Just straight ahead. Shit. Guess I'll wait here. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's come waltzing back. Let's go somewhere more quiet. <laughs> Nothing interesting over there. Where do you think you're going? Look who's back. <laughs> Allow us to show you how things work around here. I, I'm going to take this there? chest and you're going to do nothing Wait about it. Wait for a man. Uh-huh. Keep going. You got it. Just straight ahead. Okay. And here we are. <laughs> Billy's just chilling now back there. Now we can have a nice private talk without anyone butting in. I could take a look. <laughs> How come they got like really cool it's outfits time here you in got the a prison? In the way things work like where are they here. shopping? Don't worry, you can thank us later. <laughs> yeah! I need to know. <laughs> I almost forgot how to do That'll do. Let's do this. Bring it on. Okay. That's, that happened. You know. You could have just told us you were out of our league. I mean, uh, thanks for the match. It was a real learning experience. Yeah. Wasn't it, boys? <laughs> oh, great. We got something special for you. A gift to remember us by. Here. Oh, thank you. And with that, we'll hurry up and get out of your hair. Right, boys? Wait, can you give me like half of your Very clothing? sorry to have troubled you, but we won't do it again! Promise! <laughs> oh, what stupid guys. They got a basketball court in here? My god. What don't they have around here? I suppose the produce here ain't all bad. I mean, compared to the stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands, it's downright dire. But hey, I ain't picky. You're not picky? All right, Billy. Yeah. All right, we gotta go this way, buddy. I'm just getting started. I'll wait right here. Leave the green hunting to you. All Still right, Billy, thank away. you. And thank you for the moral support, Billy. The purple glow on this sword is beautiful. I'm not biased or anything loving purple, but you know how it do. That'll do. No time to celebrate. Oh. 
No. I can't chase after a cactuar. How the fuck are we supposed to do that? <laughs> I should be using my other skill to master it. Oops. Nothing to it. Like the purple sword, like the two cat characters. Yeah. I do. I love red. The cactuar is getting away, but gotta get that sweet dang loot. Better be good. Two mega potions. I could probably use those. Speaking of potions, I have like so many of the old ass ones that I feel like I can just spend right now. Ooh. Won't take long. Here I come. I really should be, uh, I don't know why I'm not assessing. Too bad. Attacking the aura that shrouds them will produce tornadoes. The aura will weaken with each tornado spawned, and once it has vanished, the drake will become pressured. Attacking from behind will weaken the aura without creating tornadoes. Okay. Now. <laughs> Let's go. Jesus. <clears throat> if my whole life could be made out of purple, it'd be I'd be a happy person. Except I can't imagine like a purple house. That's the only thing I can't imagine. For example, like whenever you see a colored house driving around like sometimes you'll see like a, a dollhouse and I'm, I'm just not about that life also the cactuar okay so maybe not like a purple house on like the outdoor i think that'd be a little bit tacky so maybe not Dawn. <laughs> Ew. No. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think he owns a single purple thing in his wardrobe now that I think of it. We won't hold back. I hate that. All good. No holding back. Sloppy. That'll do. Shit. Going in. You had your chance. It's over. Let's just like that, okay? Pale lavender could work. Oh, for like a oh, a light purple house. That is my favorite color. But still, I don't think I would like that. 
Your brother and I just found purple NMDs shoes for $50 each, and we both got a pair. Oh, I have purple shoes, and they are my favorite pair of shoes that I own. Bring it. I wear them a lot. That'll do. I was never in doubt. There's my cactuar. Woo! The underside of the gold saucer looks really cool. Poison material. Actually, let me equip that. I don't use poison as much as I feel like I should. I know I have one other one. Oh, red has it. A lilac carpet? Hmm. I would go with walls. My old bedroom I used to have at my mom's house. I made her uh, <laughs> paint my walls a lilac purple, and I still really, really like them. They're kind of cute. Oh, Jesus, I can go down here. I want that material. Oh, I can't get that. All right, this material better be worth Hello? Your neighbor has a purple car. Oh, yesterday, whenever I was driving, I went to the thrift store. And uh, for the first time in my life, I saw a car that was like a dark plum. It was really beautiful because like you wouldn't, if the light didn't hit the car, you would not have been able to tell that it was like a really dark purple. But as soon as like the sun shined on the paint, it was a dark purple and it was beautiful. I was like, oh, I wouldn't have been able to tell that that's like a plum. That's a beautiful car color. I loved it. Normally, I'm a light purple type of fan, but I saw that and I was like, oh, fancy. I love it. When I was a little kid, I begged my parents to paint my room neon green. When you pulled in the driveway at night and the car headlights would go through my window and made my room look radioactive. Neon green walls. Wow. Bold move. I'm not gonna lie, uh, my purple walls, I liked them, but I made the mistake of doing like three purple walls and one yellow wall. And I thought that purple and yellow would look fine together, but it didn't. Um, the yellow wall was definitely a mistake. Oh my god, a family of bitches. Oh boy. I should try something. I have never tried to cast regen. Oh, I can't cast regen outside of my life. Not the dodging. All right, let's assess these cactuars. So oh, god. Best do it right. I'm already poisoned. How did I get poisoned already? Hitting them with physical ATV commands will pressure, though typically too fast to strike. They will be susceptible to attacks when pressured or being used while using abilities of range. That'll do. Three thousand need. Let's do. Holy! Now you're in for it. All the fucking needles! I've never seen my health go down so fast. Uh. Okay. Oh, cool. Would you character Joker's dance style as modern? Uh, no, it's not modern. I think I mentioned it in the video. It's a mix between jazz and ballet.
There's like no definition for what his style is. It's a mix of a it's, it's a mix of a bunch. Got your hands on some dreams, huh? People around the prison have been telling me they give their birds sand baths to get them clean. Wonder if it's any better for him than a standard brush down. Maybe I'll give it a try with Pico. Don't make a peep. Uh. Sup. <laughs> Sup. Hi. <gasps> oh. Cards. That fight took you a few tries. I felt like I felt my uh my life just flash before my eyes. That's for sure. See ya. Bye. Make a peep and you're gone. That's a promise. Okay. I don't feel like I need this elixir, but whenever you see a big list of things being sold out and they only have one in stock, I feel like I should just get it. And then Take it's satisfying to look at a stock of everything being sold out. Word of warning. There anything here that ain't shit. Come on in! Meditations on the outlaw life. Guess his autobiography now is stuck. Read the only Got thing you want read. Your boss's book. Keep a close watch on your wall. Wise? Algorithm. Oh, the you're the Queen's blood. You're from the 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 the, the ship. Don't get to do your business in peace. I have undergone a version upgrade. Your Queen Tessens level is no match for mine. Improve your performance to challenge me. Oh. Wow. Okay, bitch, that's a challenge. Let's fucking go. I'll raise my rank right now, ass. Robot thinks I can't take him? I said it, and please don't go. I'm begging you. Oh, this I only want to play a game of Queen's Blood. I promise, that's all. Yeah, I have yeah. a hard time talking to people, and, well, I know I'm not the friendliest looking guy, so I can't convince anyone to go around. Anyway, uh, the name's Zach. You, uh, want to play with me? Pretty please? I will kick your ass, that's for sure. You now own a replacement card, which can only be placed on top of an ally card already on the board, effectively replacing. They do not require a rank to be placed, and they can trigger cards whose abilities only activate when destroyed. Ah, that's nice. Oh, holy shit. Cool. see so I got a couple of new cards here I got this bad boy lower the power of allied and affected cards uh, by four saucer squad I actually really like that card I'm gonna take it when you win the lane receive a score bonus of 10 okay Raise this card's power by two when enemy cards are destroyed. Ooh, buddy. Oh boy, okay, so I have to get rid of one now. So I added this guy. I should delete... What one should we get rid of? Maybe one of the onesers. Okay, I might regret that, but let's try it. Oh, this is a pleasant Queen's Blood music. Oh, that's because it didn't start yet. <laughs> right.
God damn it. I wanted to win. Exactly ideal, but all right. So that's it. The rest of it is me. Done and done. I woke up to your voice that scared the crap out of me. Oh, nice to know that my voice is very scary. I do scare all of the bitches. It's true. I got a thug. <laughs> that was even more fun than I'd imagined. I've been missing out. Prison ain't a great place to let your car down, you know. So I got into the habit of acting tough and yelling at anyone who looked at me funny. <laughs> Kept me safe, but it also made good, decent people like you avoid me altogether. Oh, he called even me a decent I person. I just wanted to play cards. I got so frustrated that no one would give me the time of day that I started to resent the judgy bastard. <laughs> but I've got to change myself first if I want people to talk to me. Because you had the courage to approach me when no one else did. I know that now. So I'm going to do it like you and ask people to play instead of waiting for them to come to me. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a call from Mr. Chadley. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Knight. Hell yeah. And I have obtained intel on a new opponent for you. There is a somewhat mysterious player by the name of Novalon in North Corel. Having proven yourself as a knight, I believe you can defeat this formidable foe. Navalon? He's special. Why? Why is he special? One Why is this guy gold? Huh? May I help you? I'm in the middle of a performance. Are you here to play Queen's Blood? Who is this guy? That's going to be tricky. I'm a living statue, you see. He's a living I'm statue that moves a to move hell of a lot. Circumstances. <sighs> well, I guess I could move my arms at least. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say this mini game is fun overall? You mean Queen's Blood, like the card game? Come to life. It's addicting. I absolutely love Queen's Blood. I feel like people meme about Queen's Blood a lot, but it's genuinely really, really fun. <laughs> All right, let's see. I don't really like this card. I should be getting rid of it, I think. Bum, bum, bum. Essentially the same thing. Oh. We could try that. The saucer squad. They're so cute. <laughs> Essentially. Okay, okay, buddy. still raise the rank high enough. Oh, you son of a bitch. 
God damn it. I need to win lanes, man. Okay, I won that lane at least. I think I won. Oh yeah, I did win. What am I? What am I talking about? I can just end it. Gwent. Oh, Gwent is the Witcher game, right? The Witcher uh, card game? I played it a couple times. I honestly do not remember it, though. You I think I remember playing it in Witcher 3, and then you guys told well, me back when I played Witcher 3, like, forever ago. My, my performance wasn't half bad. There's, like, a whole game that they made Someday, for Gwent, did they? Like, a I whole actual side game? Susser's grand staple of performers. That's why... I'm trying to hone my skills by purposely putting myself in the harshest of environments. But my winning streak was starting to draw negative attention, so maybe losing was for the best. The girl in the back is so fucking wasted. I'll be here for a while yet. If you would like to play another game, just let me know. I... I'm just uh, looking to raise my what? rank, honestly. No takers? Dude, you're gonna be so uh, easy to win against. Oh... Where have you been, handsome? I take it you're here to join me for a drink? Well, aren't you the I sweetest little thing? I made a whole uh, game called Ugh. The Witcher 3 to give context to Gwen. Big party oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They Fine. definitely did that. Be that way. Guess we'll play Queen's Blood instead. <laughs> oh, no. Don't even try to wiggle out of it. Because I'm Mary, darling dear. Oh, yes, you're back, married. Nobody slips through my fingers. So, either you take a drink, or we play a game. Your choice. I would like to play a game. I would like to kick your ass. Preferably. So this Joker card is new. When allied and enemy cards are destroyed, raise this card. Oh, it can be both sides? Interesting. This thief card is wild. Interesting. I kind of want it. Oh, wait. I want to get rid of this fucking card. I, like, never use it. The bloat. I really never know what cards to put out, man. I want to try something new, but I just want to stick to the rank ones. Maybe the Space Ranger! Space Ranger. I love that guy. Have a good one, Calcius. Thanks for chilling. I appreciate it. Actually, this is a perfect set of cards.
I want to delete his bloodline. A pre-built deck? No. Can't say I've ever tried that. This is <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Destroying my card. Oh, perfect. I'll just use the Shiva and win. Let's go. Why would I use the pre-built decks, though? That sounds like not fun. I feel like that takes away a lot of the fun. Well, shit. You got me good, hot stuff. Should have had more to drink. I the devs worked on Queen, Queen's Blood for like a you year. See, my really? Dear, even though it's my surefire ticket to victory, I've kind of been cutting back on the booze. Do you want to know why? You've been cutting your back? A while back, I drank way too much, blacked out in the middle of a match, and had an awful nightmare. I dreamed this creepy stranger was trying to chat me up, which is why this match totally doesn't count. What? I am still off my game. Next time, you better bet I'm going to be sauced to the max. So watch out, boyo. Oh. Okay. I guess I'll go feed my chocobo. I'm pretty sure I still am missing. I'm still missing probably some feed here. Pico. Let's see what you found. It's a start, but nowhere near enough. He looks so sad. She needs to lay off the boobs. I mean, maybe she wants a breast reduction. Yeah, he's looking a lot better now. But we could get him in great shape with a touch more. Okay, I'll come back. I'll come back for you, Pico. Just hang in there, okay? Oh, wait, I need a heading. Uh, do you know where I can find another one? No, no. How about you? What are you talking to me for? Go oh, okay. get the food. Okay, I'll I'll go get the food, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Hey, no. One false move. Should I just go back upstairs? This is where we came in, though. I mean, could be there, but you seem chill. Welcome to the stream, childish. I'm a mix of uh, chill, but at the same time, I have my moments. But I do like to be chill. There you are. Desert Rush. Another minigame? Mr. Gus presents the one, the only, Desert Rush. For a limited time only. If you're in the high score, just whenever I think, like, oh, they're not going to have any more minigames right in this game. Give it a try. There's more. De stress. Like the de relics of the Dust Bowl by whacking some boxes. Destroy us. Oh, this minigame was in the remake. I think. It was in the first game. Walking your path, you must first destroy enough shock boxes to power them. Okay. Yeah, with the kids. Okay. I don't think I was very good at, the, good at that back then. I 
shouldn't be going for these 50s. They're the small fry. I need the big fry stuff. Why can't I jump? I'm so confused at how you maneuver. Because I don't see the shock boxes and you can't climb. It looks like I should be able to climb over those boxes. I really can't. <laughs> Try this. Yeah, that works. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Y'all see nothing right now. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. That'll do. I need more time. We're not doing so hot. Give me more time. Okay, so like each section has a thing. That'll do. Okay, well. At least I made something. I can go up? Oh! Okay, I see how you proceed. Okay, okay, I was- I was gaming toward the end, but it took me a while to get there. job out there got some greens for you as promised that was not my best moment admittedly do i do it again to try to redeem oh teeth of gloves one more time there's gloves on the line yeah literally you start right next to the shock box bro <laughs> I'm not even aiming! Here it comes. Oh, you can end here, because it, it drops you down, so you can just keep proceeding forward and then end there. I got this. I'm a I'm a god gamer. circle. Oh! There's more up there! Oh! Now I see 
the jackpot. <laughs> That'll do. I don't know where I'm going, bro, but I'm just, I'm going. I'm moving. I'm moving. Wherever that means, but I'm, I'm going. Very vertical. I love that. Oh no, did I not get one of the things? I'm missing a shock box somewhere. I don't- I have to get to know the map, I guess, because, uh, also, yeah, how the hell do you get that? Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, so I guess I'm not going to win, but at least yeah, I need to find where that other box is. Foul dance with Andrea or ride a chocobo in a race? I mean, that's where we're kind of going. Oh my god, now I'm lost. Oh, it's this way. Okay, that direction, and then that. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I got the second one, but I didn't find where the third, the, the fourth shock thing was. God damn it. Progress. <laughs> See if you can do even better next time. Oh, I didn't really care. I don't think all RPGs need have to have day. like a crazy amount Hope of. To see uh, you again. Mini games. Like I'm fine with 16 Once not necessarily having any. Is Phil. He'll be ready to hit the track and win us that race. Alright, let me save my game because I think this will progress the plot. Alright, Pico! I got your food, buddy. Pico's been feeling peckish. Yeah, I've been completing every minigame off stream. Maxing out all the minigames. So so far up to this point I've maxed out all the minigames, even the ones in the gold saucer. Well the ones oh, that Pico's right as rain and fit to hit the track whenever you are. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. Babysitter. <laughs> oh, before you go, if you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. Oh, okay. How come y'all get to eat best? Having trouble finding that feed for Pico? Let me think. <laughs> Maybe check out that underground fighting ring. I bet you'd clean up. Good luck out there, oh cutie God. pie. I love Queen's Blood. It's really, really addicting. I have been largely playing it off stream, but I mean, hey, I just did three matches today on stream, so that's something. But I, yeah, most of my matches have been off. Wait, you're not Chadley? Why, hello. Good to see you again. Oh, it's the Snaps guy, but your icon is the Chadley icon. Not the Snaps icon. Look at me. <laughs> Folks down here in the Dust Bowl make for excellent subjects, let me tell you. Everyone here is so raw and authentic. And truly <laughs> so raw, man. Let me know if you stumble upon any promising spots around here. Yeah, real raw. Oh god, what are we in? There's something now? beautiful about these savage designs. Cutting edge. Cooling fan. Even. Gives you some real insight into the minds of the folks who ride them. Fascinating. Almost makes you wonder what you're doing. How do we get in there? Oh! Keep your noses to the grindstone, people! You better pray you're able to make bread. Cause you'll be eating more than just late 
APs. That's the Chadley icon. I forgot. Chadley's dressed up as a Tomberry? Hey, Cloud. It's me. Chadley. This is a considerably dangerous location. So I decided to disguise myself. How did I do? Costumes like these are known to elicit a calming effect. So I should be safe. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for Barrett. I'm confident of his innocence, though. And I will do everything in my power to help prove it. Okay, Chadley. I hope you won't mind my mentioning, but I've observed that world intel collection of stall the blade. Stall the blade, bitch! I haven't been able to go to the open world in a long time. Fuck off! I know you must be busy, but I'd appreciate your help. No need to say a word. I know your story. What? I also happen to know that you've racked up a few QB wins at the casino. As its owner, allow me to express my gratitude. Some players have no restraint. You did me a great favor. Take this as a token of my thanks. Oh. <gasps> oh. Okay. Before you go, though, I have some cards I'd highly recommend for a player as skilled as yourself. Okay. You won't want to miss out. I will take O. People lose interest when they start thinking they can't win. That's why it's important to shake things up once in a while. By the way, don't breathe a word about this to the folks upstairs, unless you want to find yourself behind bars again. Is that a threat? Keep your noses to the grindstone! How do I maneuver around here? This whole section I still haven't been to. But I have no idea how the hell to get there. Through one of these. It's it's over there. Oh, here. I kind of want to make that Tomberry outfit. What if I made that as like a as a, as a costume to my for a convention? Seminar. Today, for the very first time, I'll be unveiling the art behind the con, teaching you the tricks of my trade. Gone are the days of getting duped. Remove the wool over your eyes, and instead, join me in the fleecing. Let's get right to the heart of you, sir. Have excellent timing. I'm conducting a seminar and would appreciate your help. And as thanks for your assistance, rest assured you will be handsomely it rewarded. Better be All you need to do is speak with my lovely some pupils here. Feed. Four of these folks are lying while one No, and only I'm one so bad at this. Your job is to find the odd one out. Ah, there's also a small fee to participate, but I'm sure you won't mind. I have to pay? Jumpers sometime. Their own specialty sunshine is like nothing you've ever tasted. <laughs> what? Promise. I'm gonna be drinking good tonight. You know, the bars around here serve drinks so watered down, you can go for hours on it. The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose, if you ask me. I mean, what's he doing selling potions of all things? I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography. Meditations on the Outlaw Life. But the bookstore still <laughs> doesn't have it in stock. Gus's crib is covered in graffiti, like some kind of art museum. My personal favorite is this adorable Del Sol Cactuar. I'm really not good at these word games of like, who's telling the truth. Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type Zero monster's a real toughie. Be careful not to lose it all, like me. 
This place ain't for him. You fought in the Beast Battleground? You're crazy. It was nothing. Can I, can I squeeze I past you? Rib, but made it back in one piece. There. Come on. That's still impressive, man. For real. Respect. Hate to break it to you. Okay, there we go. Dumbass here did was play dead. If you value your life, get out. Don't even think. Damn it! Anyone Why is everybody so sketchy? I mean, I guess it is a prison, but all right, are we going down? We're going down. Got a lot of oh. blood, then you come to the right I probably should have rested beforehand. My health is a little, a little concerning. No one defeats you from a grisly divide but yourself! Think you can walk to the wild side and live to tell the tale? Then step into the battleground! Well, Alright, here we go! To Beast Battleground! So, you looking for a thrill you won't find anywhere up top? Defeat yeah. a few fiends and there could be some fresh new greens in it for ya! Okay, I'll do anything for my chocobo. Here we go! want to treat Pico the way he deserves to be treated. What is this? Great job, Crystal. Great job, Crystal. I'm getting more. Let's go. Because he's a good boy. My purple sword is so hot. God damn. I should have looked at the conditions, but I, I did not. What are you? You're also purple. That's <laughs> What is this music? Too bad. When its HP is low, it will play dead. Oh. Okay. 
time to burn. Still in it. He's playing dead. Pay attention. It said it would play dead when its yeah. HP was low. Never in doubt. It was a debug test fight that was actually left in OG JP version at the bottom of the Corral prison. Had shit ton of HP, but would never attack. Really? That is very interesting. Look at you go. Be sure to check out some of our other contests too, if you're in the market for a little danger. I think we're in the market for some danger. But at another time, I I got my greens that I needed for my chocobo. That's all that matters. I can't wait to see who gets ripped to shreds today. <clears throat> but yeah, I never I never actually knew about that. <laughs> Keep out. You want something? You take. <laughs> All right, let's get out of this section and go find out our who's telling the truth. Everybody else is lying. One person's telling the truth. Yeah. I'm just going to assume that everybody's lying. Maybe that's the strat. Start off like that. Got those greens you were after? Well, good. Guess my hands-off farming method works better than I thought. <laughs> Word of warning. I don't sell to Quiet. rule breakers. What? Well, you'll get it. Get your ass out of here! Word of warning. They were serious about that? Meditations on the outlaw life. If you're looking to get stronger, my store has everything you'll need. What do you think of my store? Be honest. It's Where's the best the you've ever seen, you right? It's case. it's a piece of shit, lady. It's a piece of shit. I am not look I am not Keep good at looking at these maps, wallet. man. Okay, so that's that. This is like that little oh, section of it. So that means too. this building up here? Don't read so good. Not a problem. <laughs> There's All no you gotta to do is tough it out for you. Let us suck in it. Come on. <laughs> Piss and moan some more. Hey there, buddy. I need you. 
They would say it hurts when attacked and beg you to stop. Oh, wait, that's that's kind of sad though. I thought it would be the bartender, so it's not the bartender. This ain't even a contest. Let's see, number four. So we go this way. I know they talked about the books. They talked about the armor. And this is this? Don't let me catch you wandering. Yeah? Wait, I can go up here? No, I can't. No, down. What's down there? Hey! Can I go down there? Light is so bright here. Don't let me catch you wandering. <clears throat> All hail Solemn Guff! Saving reload? Wait, what do you mean? Like save scumming? Let me take a look. So the other one was. That's the one in the corner though. Yeah, that. Hmm. Wait, where am I? I can't I get lost so easily here. Or get wrecked. People not understand this one. From my understanding, you're just supposed to go see these areas, so, and like observe them, but there's like no one specifically to talk to. You're just supposed to get to know that area and then see which hey, of the people back at the place is telling the truth about those sections. I think. Uh, that's, that's my understanding. Okay. So, number one. You know, I just wrapped my mail up for some time. The Rao Specialty Sunshine is like nothing you've ever tasted. Promise. Yeah, so he's talking about the bartender. <laughs> and we did I'm gonna take, be drinking we did taste the sunshine. Tonight. The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose if you ask me. I mean, what's he doing selling potions of all things? Oh yeah, he did sell me an elixir, didn't he? He's the one I bought the elixir from. I think. <laughs> I'm gonna be. Drinking I'm dying to read time. Gus's autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Life, but the bookstore still doesn't have it in stock. Bookstore? Gus's crib is covered in graffiti, like some kind of art museum. My personal favorite is this adorable Del Sol cactuar. We didn't see that, but... Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? Yeah. I hear that Type Zero monster's a real toughie. Yeah, so we did all of that. Well, do you think you can figure out who's telling the truth? No. The truth is out there, as they say. I encourage you to walk around town and find it. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography, Meditations on the Outlaw Life. But the, the weapon store owner's got a few screws loose, if you ask me. I mean, what's he doing selling potions of all things? I'm so confused because, like, multiple are telling the truth. Like, the bartender you is know, selling the sunshine. You around here serve drinks so watered down, you can go for hours on end and still not feel it. Okay, never mind. That that that's a lie. The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose. But if like, you ask me, th this girl I mean, what's is he doing correct. Selling like, I, of all things. I bought an elixir from that guy, which was weird. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography, 
Meditation on the Alps. Gus's crib is covered in graffiti. I didn't Some see kind of the, art museum. the the Costa del Sol. My personal favorite is this adorable del Sol in the graffiti, but I should take a look at that. Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type Zero monster's a real toughie. Type Zero monster was a pushover, so that guy's lying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm supposed to go with whatever person is telling the truth, which I think it's this chick, like, I bought an elixir. Well, do you think you can? Yeah. I'm dying to read Gus's autobiography, Meditations on the Al The weapon store owner's got a few screws loose, if you ask me. I mean, what's he doing selling potions, of all things? I mean... No? Oh, too bad. I'm afraid you've been had. My pupils have a knack for the art of deception. Well done. Discerning the truth is a skill, just like telling a lie. Now then, what say we take it from the top and have you try again? A different swindler is now telling the truth? They change? <laughs> hey, you ever heard of a place called Bail Jumper? Yeah, the finest booze around, pure as the driven snow. Not watered down one bit. Not watered down? I don't believe you. I gasped when I found out the weapon shop sold elixirs, which immediately got me kicked out for making noise. That's true! <laughs> I'm I don't understand! I bought an elixir tonight. from the armor dude, and he kicked me out for making noise! I don't understand where the lie is! You gotta check out Garf's autobiography, Meditations on the Underling Life. It's at the local bookstore. Sure, buddy. I don't feel like looking, to be Gus's honest. Gus's crib is covered in graffiti, like some kind of art museum. My personal favorite is this adorable Del Sol cactuar. Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type Zero monster's a real toughie. Hold on. We're gonna go check the crib. I could just keep spending money. I don't feel like I spend my gill on anything in this game, so I kinda don't care. Homie oh my. So this is, uh, that's in the, 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 the Gus's crib, so to speak. Where am I? I'm going the right way. Oh, hail Solomon Gus! King of Corral! Although the number isn't exactly there. Mm -hmm. Unless they're talking about. Down with autism? Oh, down with authority, maybe? Why did. I, I don't know. <laughs> down with autism, yeah. I'm supposed to be loitering. I'm supposed to be looking, okay? Don't make fun of me, bro. We're checking graffiti around here. <laughs> One false move. I'm we'll free from the editing chains. Back. Hey, welcome back, Alan. Alan's fucking gaming out here. Me observing all of the graffiti. <laughs> There's a lot of fucking graffiti, though. And I'm supposed to be looking for Costa del Sol Cactuar. Son of a bitch. Maybe she's lying. I haven't seen one yet, but at the same time, my eyes are fucking blind. Gus is busy at the moment. Hey there, honey. You go messing up the place. Okay, chat. Uh, just a yes or no answer. Am I misinterpreting this quest? Just yes or no. Do not do not say anything else. I wish Gus treated me half as good as he does his vultures. I don't think I am, but I could be. So that's why I asked. Oh, <laughs> great! I can see it really well. No, okay. 
so I'm on the right track. I just hope Barrett's safe out there. Be careful. Okay? Got you, got you. Thanks, homies. You call that running, you stupid bird. <sighs> well, I didn't see a cactuar in there. But I'm still mad about the whole weapon dealer oh, thing, because I... I don't know how that girl's telling a lie. Like, for example, if I were to go in here... It's also called Dead Silent. And I bought an elixir here. Like, that, that, is, that is the don't truth. Skimp on gear. Like, I'm not going crazy. I'm so They're confused. Internet being dumb all Sunday, Sap. You can take your time, Alan. I can't upload it until Saturday anyway. Okay, like... Have you tried the Beast Battleground yet? I hear that Type Zero monster's a real This toughie. guy is lying, because the Type Zero monster was not a real toughie, so shut up, bitch. This crib is covered in graffiti, like some kind of art museum. My personal favorite is this adorable Del Sol cactuar. She's lying. There's no cactuar. <laughs> I'm gonna be drinking. You gotta check out Garf's autobiography. I didn't even check this, but Meditation I don't... Well. I'm going to the Do same you think girl. You can figure out who's telling the truth? It's the same girl. <laughs> you gotta... I gasped when I found out the weapon shop sold elixirs, which immediately got me kicked out for making noise. Wait. Technically, that is a lie. You get... No talking allowed in the local weapon shop. And yeah. that includes any shouts of surprise when you find out they sell elixirs, too. Oh. Hey, you ever heard of a place called Bail Jumper? I gasped when I found- You gotta check out Garf's auto- I'm no going to the girl again. The local weapon. I Congratulations. That that Their deception was no match for your powers of perception. Beware, my aspiring swindlers. Clever ones like this are harder to fool. But so long as you continue to train and apply yourselves, I can teach you to swindle even the toughest marks. Yes, yes sir. sir! As for you, rest assured that I am a man of my word. Yeah, thank you. Those greens thank are you. hard like to, to find in a Jokabel. place like this. Quite the handsome reward, wouldn't you say? Oh, the last time she said potions? Oh my god, I just thought it'd be the same thing. They were that specific with it? Okay. God damn it. Hey, looking for a way to kill time. Alright, I'm feeding the chocobo some more. Uh all hail Solemn Gus! King of Corral! How come y'all get to eat veggies? So, what kind of gear are you in the market for? Trade. Well, that's all I got. Now go and kick the tar out of those other jockeys. Will do. All right. Let's dress up Pico. I love this hat so much. It is so cute. <gasps> wow, my chocobo looks evil. Pico's as ready as he'll ever be. If you can't win, you got no one to blame but yourself. Oh. <laughs> She thanks! Thanks, Billy. That's really encouraging. Fuck you. Oh, you're my guy. Let's so, go. You. I'm ready. Let's get me out of here. About time. 
Let's get this show on the road. Billy just calls him like Come he sees me. him, apparently. Fucking Billy. Actually, man. on second thought, I'll take him up top. If you lose, for skill you? issue. Say what? <laughs> Fine. You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. Wait, I want to just sit and eat a banana. I mean, it's hard to believe okay. this is the same Pico that nearly died in the desert. You should have seen him that first day, the poor boy. More dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quail without coughing up sand. He's Aww. a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Okay. Believe me, in the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. Pico. No pressure, though. Okay, on you go. All right, Pico, let's go win a Chocobo race. something okay competing in the race today yep we'll get your bird prepped for you just sit tight in the jockey lounge and no wandering off okay my chocobo so cute Whoa! That's a fancy ass chocobo. Oh my god! I want that chocobo drip. Oh! -ho -ho! This one looks like it has ruby weapon gear. And that's Pico. Good old black chocobo. A bug boy? Hmm? A bug boy? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther, you grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. Hi, and Joe. And as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track. And all ours. Be sure to wave hi when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, you win her over with your skills? Or with one of them smoldering looks. <laughs> I don't see why it can't be both. <laughs> smoldering looks About give time the death glare. Competition, <laughs> assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. <sighs> Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that. Do I even need to practice? Oh, they're making you. God damn it. I, I just wanted to skip it. Hi, Billy. Not gonna do a few laps for practice? Oh, look at all the food. It's gonna make me hungry. Aw, a bug boy. I'll go easy on ya. A bug boy? Why are you even being called a bug boy? Well. Try not to get trampled out there. Okay. God, look at all the dessert. <laughs> I'm just brushing up on my bird calls before the race. Okay. Okay, racing simulator. Steer, speed up, slow down, back up. Drift. I'll be good at drifting. X right when the countdown hits two to begin the uh, race with an explosive start, just like Mario Kart. Okay. Practice. 
<laughs> Bug boy, whatever. Wait, I already forgot the button. Can I retry? <laughs> I want to get it down! The timing of two. Okay, uh, each balloon raises a bird's speed level by one for a maximum of ten. Okay. Okay, no colliding. Oh! That drift! Oh god! Okay, that is very delayed. Red, once the gauge is full, press L1 to activate your chocobo ability. Each type of chocobo has its own ability. Okay. And yellow, charge your dash gauge. Holy. Okay. Oh, I'm flying! Look at me go! <laughs> Amazing drift! Oh, damn! Baby! Yeah, I'm a I'm a god gamer. I don't need to do anything else. Okay, the only thing I want to do I want to get the timing of the start. Let's see if I can get it. I did not. I forgot to push the button again. God damn it! It hit one and I'm like, oh shit, I'm too late. Alright, surely this time though. I pressed it that time. My life is sad. Maybe toward the end of two? If I don't get the strong start, the battle's already, like, the race is already done. It's all over. All right, we're going. Time to lose. You ready to make your debut in the racing world? Our next race will begin shortly. All participating jockeys, please proceed to the paddock. Okay. You good to go? I'm good to go. As good as I'm gonna be. If I don't get first place, I'm quitting. Forever. I'm not even gonna continue and get Vincent Valentine. They all possess uh, falling attributes, speed, acceleration, weight, cornering, strength, intelligence. More weight makes them fly shorter distances, but also harder to knock around. Oh boy. Three racing sets and the one world set, which is the gear your bird will wear when it shuttles you around the world. Interesting. Is 
So me having this whole set. Comeback kid, damage control, and dash sooner. Dramatically increase all attributes if placed seventh or lower heading into the final lap. What? Lessen how much you slow down when damaged. You know what? I'm just gonna keep this stuff. This is so cute. <laughs> the, the stats are so even though, god damn. So I can just see the, the whole sets here. So Shinra, Shinra, Shinra. High speed, like a flash, and dash faster. Lessen how much you slow down when you leave the track. Increase number of dash charges by one and increase acceleration. Okay. Increases weight. And then this is our... I guess it pays to get all the, the outfits for the chocobo. This is so- oh my god, the chocobo gear is so cute, look at it. Alright, complete. Um, proceed to the race. Um, wait, no, I- 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 I'm gonna try- I'm gonna try the new gi stuff. This game is basically like Mario Kart, and I used to be a Mario Kart gamer back in the day, so if I just spring forth my Mario Kart days from my past inner self, I can win this without a hitch. Wait, this isn't the same track that I just practiced on. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm. He doesn't get a jockey costume. Here's a secret. I survived that recent shooting. <sighs> You're not talking about the Colosseum, are you? Oh my god. Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. You mean that bitch could You're have been so dead lucky. this whole time? Aren't I just? Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> Ooh, what a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> That ringtone's rude. Him. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Do you She's know pissed. how hot it is out here? I'm melting. God, what asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? <laughs> I'll be there I as love her. As I can. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream. Leave us is dying. No, okay. vanilla. Seriously, I'm gonna heat stroke over here. I'm gonna die. You want that, do ya? She's so pissed. <laughs> Wish you were here, partner. Which partner? Reno? Or does, does he need Elena? I... Oh no, okay. I didn't get the boost. It's over. It's over. I didn't. Oh god. Oh no! Oh. Uh... I... 
out of my fucking way! I'm here for fucking blood. There's only that fucker in front of me. Cute. They were all like cheering for me watching my rays. <laughs> Woo! I knew I backed a winner. You're the real deal, kiddo. I just provided the encouragement. Whatever. I'm and a goddamn. Thanks gamer. to you, my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace. Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. Ooh, so frosty. But here in the desert, we like it hot, fiery, dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Now where's our guy? <laughs> Easy, Snowflake. Solemn Gus is a man of his word. Mm -hmm. Are you scared I'll break my promise? Yeah. Oh, the door I've been wanting unlocked. That tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end, one of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. Shooty McShooterton. Yeah. But now he's all yours. Turn him over. Give him his just desserts. It's your call to make. Okay, bye. I'll come back here eventually. Whee! There's no way Barrett shot those people, right? Are there any Barrett other would never. Dudes who might have gone Until Barrett does free? one day. We know him. He'd never do that. Well, we'll find out soon enough. That's it! That'll ah! be it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Oh. Oh yeah, we're supposed to follow the bird. Wait, did I just get to the other oh god, the map. Oh god, the map. Okay. Oh no. Reno wouldn't be in the game due to that because they didn't want to recast. I mean, they're gonna have to eventually. 
but also, um, yeah, I guess that's a spoiler for me. Uh, I would assume that Reno is going to show up later in the game. I was just waiting for him to show up. Because I can't remember... Uh, I'm trying to remember the original where you would see him next. It's on now. Is it Gungaga? There's some Turks in Gungaga, but I don't remember. Now. But yeah, kind of not cool because I didn't want to know that Reno was not in this game. I just assumed he was going to show up later. So. Be careful what you say. Also, I'm also in a state of like, I don't believe you. I kind of, well, I'll just play the game. And, uh, I'll believe it whenever I see it. Now. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. It's over. I think I'm all warmed up. I think in the original you saw him and Rude before Gengaga. Yeah, I don't remember where it was exactly. And I also don't remember which of the Turks end up at Gengaga either. Because I, I thought it was Reno, but I don't remember. Because, like, every time you see the Turks, it's, like, a different pair. Yeah, we're not talking about originally. We're talking about this, too. I don't remember the next time you see Reno. the last day to play for seven no i stayed far away from those because uh, i feel like they spoil so much they released way too much footage uh before releasing this game i really was not happy with all of that so i stayed far away i think i watched the first like three trailers of ff7 and then after that i just stopped watching everything because i feel like they were just giving out too much information Yeah, just like a lot of stuff that I didn't want to know about. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I stopped to a certain point because like- Oh! Wait, I just realized that you're so cute. I'm sorry, I just saw Kate Smith behind me. Wait, he's still not officially a party member though. He's not. I want you. Kate Smith. I know, I didn't see Kate Sith, yes, like, just behind me, just being all cute. Bird. <laughs> then only I know that. Okay. My brain vaguely remembers his appearance in Gungaga, so I expect him to show up there. <laughs> Time to burn. <laughs> Calling fire. It's on now. <laughs> Let's do this. That's that. Yeah, because in the cave, wasn't it? Um, wasn't it all three of them in the cave? It was both, uh, if I recall. It was. I'll show you what I can do. It was all three of them: Rude, Reno, and Elena. One more shot. Sorry about that. You'll see. You can do it. Watch yourself. Hang back. Stay strong, okay? You're done. See ya. That's the way to do it. Oh yeah, he's also in Wu Tai. I know for a fact Reno's uh, Reno's in Wu Tai. That's true. So there's still a chance that he might show up.
Reno really is like a, a fan favorite. Not good. Uh -huh. Not good at all. Uh -huh. Oh, Jesus. Run! Damn it. This way! Barrett? Hi, Barrett. Move! Who's got Kate Sith? Did we just get a shot of Kate Sith butt? I've been on for weeks. Red. Thank God we found you. We were worried. You on the lamp, big guy? The hell I am. <laughs> what are you guys doing all the way out here anyway? Looking for whoever decided to shoot up the Coliseum lobby. They said the culprit had a gun for an arm. <sighs> they did, huh? Tell me it wasn't you. Frankly, it might as well have been. Barrett, talk to us. I know the man who murdered all those people. Dine, my best friend. Is he still your best friend? It was four years ago. The Corral reactor had just gone up. Dine and I had been to check it out, see what the deal was. But on our way back... None of this makes any sense. That explosion could have brought down the whole mountain. So where the hell's Shinra? That's a damn good question. <sighs> Whatever. We need to get back. Tell them what we found. God. No. Shinra, they just showed up and started shooting. I think they're trying to cover up what happened at the reactor. To pin the blame on... Hey! Over here! Uh. Please. Don't. Uh. This ain't happening. God damn it. The village. Marlene and Eleanor might still be there. You ready? For what? <laughs> still so quick to throw in the towel, ain't you? Come on. Damn it. Do I have to do everything? Shinra has a reputation for safety to uphold. Which makes you liabilities. Oh, how very great.
so Merlin's. I managed to get away, but I was bleeding out. Figured that was it. Until Doc Sheeran came along and saved me. Put me back together. Most of me, anyway. There was no saving my arm, so I made a call. Instead of the normal prosthetic, I chose a means to an end. Guess Stein had the same idea. I guess he did. I resigned myself to the fact that he was dead, but if I'd known he'd survive too, I... So that's why Dine shot all those people? To get back at Shinra? I don't know. I saw him at the saucer, saw the bodies and the bullet holes, but that's not who Dine is. Whatever his faults, he's not a monster. If I can find him, talk to him. I know we can figure this out. Well, okay. What are we waiting for? No time like the present. Oh boy. Place looks so good. Don't overdo it. Here goes. Here. Tagging out. In need of my aid. I have you. Not that. Nice shot. Going in. You ready? Deal with that. I'll show you what I can do. My prayer materia improved. That's a big deal. Hell yeah. Ooh, new Barrett weapon. All right, I got a few things to master here. Slacking. Top of the overcharge. Okay. Actually, that's really good. We'll do enhanced overcharge. Okay, and then we'll get Barret set here, and then also change up the party. Hmm. Red and UV switch. All right, let's try this. This is a very weird combo. Sure, he's here. Maybe he should have used Bufu Dine. That's such a bad joke. Sure. Trying to see what the fuck. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I need to do this alone. Barrett. Go. I love the music right now. It's very beautiful for the moment.
dying. Hang on. I'll get you out of here. <laughs> As I live and breathe, Barrett Wallace. Come on. Bless your heart, dropping by for Eleanor's birthday. What? Elle, Marlene, set a place for Barrett. <laughs> yeah, he's looking fit as a fiddle. Huh. Good question. She ain't with him. Where's Myrna? She ought to be here. Pine. What happened to you? Though, come to think of it, I don't see a gift, neither. But you ain't the kind to come empty-handed. God damn it. his kind doing here oh boy you son of a bitch still living on shinra's kill no man it ain't like that <laughs> 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 you here to help me? <laughs> He's here for you to take the load off your shoulders, right? Same old shit. <laughs> Stay back! <laughs> this is between us. I feel like they did the crazy and part no one else. of dying really well here, this iteration. Huh. Just you and me then. Right here. Right now. The famous 1v1 fight. Hold still! Better watch oh. where you're looking. God damn it. Die hard. <laughs> 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 
Beast. But it's still a difficult battle. I love that. That felt really great. Get on with it. Dine really fucking popped off. No, Dine. It's over. Over? You think this is over? This ain't even close to over! Then end it. Kill me. I can't live like this anymore. Barrett! Stay away! <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? A way out. But where's that leave me, huh? <clears throat> I thought you wanted to help your own buddy! <clears throat> Doesn't he commit suicide? <laughs> uh, I... No wise words. <clears throat> Coward. When the going gets tough, he's gone. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, in the original. About everything. It's like you have the 1v1 fight and then he falls off the cliff. I should have never believed him. But that money... It changed our lives. Well, it changed them all right. You know, I can hear her now. Eleanor, as clear as day. Tell him about mine. Begging me to stop, give you the benefit of the doubt. Saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know. Shinra! Always Shinra! What? They're just randomly showing up.
Look at that. She's got her mommy's eyes. Hair, too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were, too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. She nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since, she's been my reason to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew, and still you took her. That's not true. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. Diane, we could go see Marlene right now. <sighs> Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop! With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again? I have to play? right there. 
<clears throat> it's kind of crazy because like that just shows that I think that just like comes to show like what great voice acting can do to like change an entire scene good music good everything good like real good emotions because I've played this game a hell of a lot, but I've never cried over that. Like, it's it's a sad part of the story, but I've never cried over it. I thought that Gus guy was just yanking our chain. Same. That said, is it okay to let the director get involved like this? Were you going to stop him? Deploying riot control armor. All units are to pull back now. Well, have fun down there, boss man. She did get her ice cream. It's cute. <laughs> And these posters are Paul Man. Bookings canceled, Paul Man. Security's been slaughtered, Paul Man. Your truck of a king, what? Paul Man! <laughs> I've had it! And now you're going to pay! I'm a director! And you will show me some respect! Input error detected. I don't remember <laughs> fighting him. I thought the first time that you fight Paul Man was whenever you go to Sin's town. Was it this button or more? <laughs> I'm confused. Best do it right. <sighs> Landing limit attacks or synergy abilities will flip it over. Oh. This music is good. Okay, so I remembered that, right? Yeah. I remember you fight. I think, you, yeah, you see Palmer. In, uh, in Sid City. I actually forget the name of the town. So this is new? Uh, attacking the cockpit while in this overturned state will deal significant damage, landing several powerful offensive abilities while Palmer is taunting will crash. <laughs> to tell where the cockpit is. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm targeted on, is the cockpit. Oh, not the dance. Oh, no! Oh, fuck, I hate it. No! Just like the goddamn original. He does his stupid little dance. Oh, he's shaking his ass again! Let's switch it up. Here goes. Get ready. Why don't you leave? It's on you. Fight and do it. Go on, bring it. Time bomb scatter. You got me. It's on you. So it's my turn. Come on. That's it. Oh, look 
his thing and then he like leaves like a little pussy. Take it from here. I'll take care of him. Can, can you take over for me? Why does the music go off so hard? You're up. I'm coming. Tagging out. Taking over. You're up. Not bad. No, 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 no. no. Limit break and tighten. He'll be dead. I'm as good as dead. That's much better. Warning: exceeding maximum rate output. Risk of limb failure high. Nothing to worry about if I finish this quickly. Take it over. Wait, should I get T-Pop? You're done. 
I actually don't know if a death you okay? is going effective. All out. It affects your experience that you get. But I got her up just in case. Any last words? Tifa, you didn't get to do your limit break with God. I thought you got it off. Give me it, my arm! One more shot! Actually. I know I have it in my mind. He's almost dead. Oh no. Okay. Oh no, 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 no! no! <laughs> no, they're gonna pick Palmer up. No. I wanna see him run away like a little pussy. We gotta go. They'll be on us any minute. They're on us now! Uh, uh, uh. This is, that's the dune buggy! That's how we travel! Fear not, friends! Your chariot awaits! Dio is delivering the dune buggy? Dio? What a giga chat. I've been using this to eavesdrop. Can never be too careful. But you are innocent. And I was wrong. By way of apology, I gift you this. Why, thank you, Dio. <sighs> now I can do everything. You will receive a proper burial, I promise you. Thanks. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> um, is this not a bit much, sir? Hmm. The safety of my every guest is paramount. <laughs> His picks I don't know flexing. what happened in Midgar, but to me, it matters not. <laughs> hmm. You are always welcome, my friend. <laughs> he got him. Okay. Does anyone know how to drive this thing? Leave it to <gasps> me, lass. Walking it is so badass, that's great. Now's your chance. Leave this riffraff to me. Dio? You're gonna handle Time Rude to all by yourself? Yeah. Uh, uh. 
I never thought I would see Dio versus Rude in my remake of Final Fantasy VII. has provided you a means of escaping the chaos unfolding beneath the saucer. Give the Shinra forces a taste of their own ballistic medicine as you attempt to shape their pursuit. Yeah, sure. Ha <laughs> ha I have to steer at the same time. Who's next? Um, I already forgot the controls. Stage. 
Bring him on. Homer? You want some? Oh, he's the boss. Who's next? Bring it. Gotcha. seen so much action uh. in his life. Dio gives it to you for winning the race. Okay. So it is Dio, but just not in this exact way. I like I, I like this iteration a lot. C plus? Well, you ain't getting my A game today. Nah. You did good. Oh. <laughs> he just wants to, like, stay and do nothing while... Well. Reva's, Reva's doing it. Oh my god, Kate said this so cute in Tifa's lap! Oh, he's so cute! Tifa's so lucky. Some dead you are. Long past time, my little girl knew the truth. Oh. Carlene's still really young. Oh, he left it. <laughs> They're showcasing this real early. Wait, what? That ought to do it. Dude, what a giga chat! If you don't mind my saying, you're in an awfully good mood. Well, it's been productive. <laughs> don't have too much fun. I feel like that really tips off the player. Like if you, you people that don't know about Kate Sith, that that pretty much gives it away. 
I remember that reveal blowing my mind as a kid. You called, sir? What is I the know. status of the ancient? I don't know. We remember. still have eyes on her. Is she looking for the promised land? We don't believe so. I see. Is she a higher priority than the materia? Hmm. Not her so much as her birthright. It's a dream of mine. <clears throat> to see it with my own eyes. Yeah, I was trying to find out the Understood. point in the original we'll where, you, where you find out like he betrays you. I think it was in the forest. Was it in the... Because like he gives up Aerith or something. I forget what that forest is called up north with the weird <laughs> forever... <laughs> Oh, it's a dream of mine. How cute. Holy shit, I don't remember. Oh, what the hell? Who are you? Really? Oh, come on. This dude you that know I don't me. know? And I know you, Mr. President. You and your fears. <laughs> Still just a child, aren't you? A pig-headed, pathetic, daddy-hating child. And under that bratish exterior... <laughs> loneliness. Damn! I don't deny it. Sick him. Why would I? It's brought me all this. Now that's the spirit I'm looking for. We really need more people like you. To give the world a shot in the arm. I'm so confused as to what he is. Like, is he like a whisper? It's so fucking weird. But what do you truly want? Weird addition that I don't understand. Oh man, no, I'm, no, I'm so confused. Let's start this manhunt. He's going to find them. Sweet baby. Are we never gonna get to be grown ups? Come on, everyone. You were the guy with Harris. Let's all right? dance. Yeah. Oh, everything's so weird. Wait, what that's a. Oh, that oh, this is the. Us? God, I forget. Come uh, on, everyone. Sec yeah, second It'll five. be okay. Let's all dance. Misfolia. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, this area is now coming back. I breathe a sigh of relief. I can't afford to put off the bucket list any longer. No regret. Okay. Oh god, I'm going in a circle. Feels like I'm the only one who can't stop staring <sighs> at that thing. I'm the biggest Zack fan. I don't know, man. Are you? My girl Frankie, though. Seen anyone around here who looks like this? I'm sorry, but I don't know who that is. Come check out our clearance sale. Our so way of Does this guy look familiar to you? Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? You could really use the Wanted to spend my final days with the family. Why don't we all go camping? Might as well get some use out of it. <laughs> hey there. You seen anyone who looks like this? Afraid not. Biggs is dead again. Yeah, she is wearing the Bunny Bee costume in broad daylight. That was supposed to be the secret. 
But we're also in the parallel-ish universe where everything is out of fucking whack here. Does this guy look familiar to you? I like Don't seeing sign. the signs, though. Just like signs of everything just not being right. Hey, what the fuck? Shit. Think that's Avalanche? Could be. I have so much Better to check it out. That was the church. Oh, what? The church? What? Can't we have a moment? Why would they blow up the church? There's our man. So confused. Wait, what? That's all? All of the Zack scenes are like five minutes long. <laughs> Pardon me? So where are we bound this fine day? South. Far south. Gaga. Go not Corel, that's what. I'll step on it. Me Gongaga. That should be next, Very right? Well. So it is. Hold on to your hats. <clears throat> the planet stirs. Hey, Wait, no, no, no. Robocat, you act all buddy buddy, but we don't know a thing about you. Let's fix that. There's not much. I don't know where I'm going. Wait, I want to. Wait, what? I want to explore this region. I don't want to... I'm so confused. You know, I'm a nine to five nobody at a small Shinra subsidiary. Another paper shuffling, copy pasting forwarder of emails. Another Shinra lapdog. Lap Chris cat. loves up Chris. Lapcat. <laughs> but you lot are special. Properly special. Oh, I Never was stuck a in a lot of plot. Never met a special group of people um, in all my life. How could I not tag along? How could I not tag along? <laughs> Bullshit. Come now, this is a road trip. We should be bonding, not fighting. Oh. Barrett, promise me you won't take down Scarlet unless I'm there with you. You fear you okay? All right, I promise. If you don't give up the ghost right here and now, that is. <sighs> I won't let some stupid car get the better of me. Bobadev, thank you for the 77 months. I appreciate I it. And also, um, Remick, thank right you for the prime the sub. I appreciate that. Oh, that's it. I can't. You wait, he's dead. Just, just wait. We'll find somewhere to. Pull over. She's about to pop. Wait, Lassie. Not in the buggy. Not in the buggy. She's dead. Feeling any better? Wait, is Red holding Kate Sith in his mouth? Leave me. Hmm. Where to now? We don't have any leads. And driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is... The worst idea ever! Hmm? He is holding him in his mouth! That was so when you cute. don't know where life's leading! How? You should get yourself! Kate's in the leading. party! Ooh! Yay! Meow, 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 Your lucky food is mushrooms. Um. Mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms. Wait! Barrett, you mentioned something earlier about the Corel reactor, did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. Gungaga! Materia! Okay, I'm good. Everybody, oh my god, you the car. Let's go, go, go! Well, 
Couldn't hurt to check it out, I guess. Why? Just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? Why not? But wait, I thought oh, Kate said Cloud? he was going to be in the party Mind now. I'm taking the wheel. <laughs> All right. Float it south through the sands till we start seeing green. We'll be pulling up outside that reactor before you can say Mako. Yay! <laughs> Me Gongaga! Buggy is capable of traversing not only land but shallow waters and faster than the average chocobo at that. Uh, down to call the buggy to your current location. Roll over transmutation materials while riding to collect them automatically. Well, new experiences at the gold saucer! Oh boy. So, what was up with that lucky food fortune? I mean, why mushrooms? Well, this reactor smack bang in the middle of a place famous for. That, you guessed it, the world's favorite fungi. Ooh. Mushrooms Wait, that goes down. That's a cave. I want to go in there. I like the buggy music. We're going in. Oh! It's one of these. Oh, this is so cool! Oh! We're on our way to Gungaga! I can't believe it's actually real. It's, uh, it's happening. I got a whole land to explore though, man. So what's gonna end up happening is I will do this exploration off stream for this section, but before I end today, I do want to battle as Kate Sith. Uh, I want to see what this iteration of Kate Sith is like. All right. Oh boy. Combat settings. Kate Sith. Roll the dice. Oh God, kill me. All right, buddy. What'd you come with? Well, I'll give him something weird later. You come with empowerment materia and magnify. Interesting combo. Level boost. Luck. <laughs> Ah, oh, of course, it's luck. Moogle decoy. Moogle draws a and em 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 attention. Increases luck by 100. He is all about the luck, ain't he? That's funny. Kate Sith is just. In the original, he was just an RNG thing. So we mastered that, but we need to master the, this megaphone. All right, let's get him in the party. We didn't, uh, okay, we have to master a couple of weapon abilities. Let's do Yuffie and Kate Sith in a party. This is a weird combination. <laughs> this is a very weird combination. All right, battling is Kate Sith. Oh boy. So, Gungaga. Oh, Jesus Christ. Y'all, there's too much to do. Like, we're fucked. <sighs> you use this party a lot? Damn. Well, okay, so we're nearest to this tower. I guess I can make my way down. And then hopefully we come across enemies along the way because I would love to see how Kate Sith works. 
before we get off here. Wait, I have to... You want me to what? This is your party. Yuffie and Kate Sith, get out. My permanent party is Red and Tifa. Did I just fuck myself? I parked my car too close. This is a very small section. Where are you putting another chest? Kate Sith, you're so cute. I'm so happy you're in my party. Holy shit. No, don't go in the buggy. I didn't mean to. No, I did not mean to get in the buggy. Just... This is complicated, Dio. Alright, so. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, the thing is, as soon as Aerith dies, I switch out her for Vincent. And then my permanent party is usually Red, Vincent, and Cloud. Sometimes I switch out Sid. For Red, of course, because Vincent is like a permanent party member. <laughs> Hold on. Oh god, driving backwards, though. It's really cute to see the gang in here. I don't know why I'm going this way, but it looks really fun. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it, okay. This is a bit of a struggle. Oh! Alexander summoned the thing. It's over there! I can't get over there! Oh god, this area has a lot. I see over there. Oh, 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 wait. I'm supposed to use the hookshot to get to the wall. Oh, interesting. Wait. I am? Vincent was a bitch to recruit in the original? Uh, you just have to talk to him a bunch of times and then you get him automatically later. But you have to like, if I recall, you have to keep talking to him. You can't just like give up after one or two. I don't remember the exact process. I just know I didn't have any trouble getting him my first time playing. Yuffie I didn't get in my first playthrough because she's less intuitive. Like, he, especially, I think you need the correct like prompts as well for Yuffie. Yeah. Alright, Kate's in. Okay, attack, summon his Moogle with Let's Ride, which will unlock ACB. As the Moogle attacks, its meter will steadily fill. Deplete the meter and activate Moogle abilities like Fight or Defense. <laughs> While astride the Moogle, hold down alongside your fuzzy pal dismount and remount. This is really cool. The Moogle will withdraw from the fight once its HP reaches zero, but can be summoned again at will. Look at the name Kitty Wallop! Look at me go! Okay. Kate Sith is so pathetic. Look at me go! I'm just holding the megaphone and being a cute little cat! That it? Ta-da! You're in for it now! 
Die resulting effect varies depending on which number. God damn it. He's still the same piece of shit. Fancy a week, eh? Wait, it's my death. Oh. times over. I hate this enemy so much. <laughs> would be interested in a dirge remake. I half expected them to put a lot of the dirge story in this game. They might, I don't know. Okay, we just suck at this. Wait, can I mount? Okay, I'll back up. I'm still having fun with Kate Sith here though, so let me see. We get the empowerment. I wanna roll another dice just put this your get your hole. Gamba, 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 gamba! Yo! Got a nice shield? Oh, I even was like, click on the other one. Whatever. It was, um. Uh, I barely got myself through Dirt of Cerberus. I hated the game so much. Oh, no. I really hated it a lot. So, synergy abilities Soldier Moogle class. Cloud hops about Katesit's Moogle and lends it his sword to deliver fearsome slashes. I have to see that. You mean? All right. Yeah. My turn. I gotta see it, dude. I gotta see it. <sighs> I just need to use a couple more abilities here. On now. Oh no, now the battle's gonna be over. I wanted to see it. <laughs> I guess another time. I can't see shit. Okay. Oh. I've done all of the combat simulators so far, um, but what I will do is off stream between now and Friday, I'll have all of this region done, all of the side quests, all of the mini games will be done too. All of it. Proto Relics I have, um, I did the first maps Proto Relics on off stream. The second I did most of them on, on stream, except the final one I did off stream. I can save the Proto Relics for off stream, for on stream next time. Maybe. It depends. <laughs> I don't know, I don't, uh, 
It's not like they're not interesting, because they are, especially I want to do the finale with, I'm sure, fighting Gilgamesh, which is so hilarious. Look at this view of the gold saucer from the outside, though. God damn, dude. Anyway, I should be getting off. This was a very long stream. But, yeah, I'll try to save some Greg content for on stream, don't you worry. But yeah, thank you guys for chilling. I appreciate it. So the next time we play Rebirth is on Friday. The schedule is every Monday, Wednesday, Friday is Rebirth. Every Tuesday and Thursday is Unicorn Overlord. And yeah, love you guys. Thank you guys for chilling, and I hope you have a fantastic evening. Bye, everybody!